it's Casey Van Gogh Shami here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today is the next episode of The Mandalorian, which is chapter 11. And finally, it seems like we are going to the water planet that we've, well, me and the boys have been theorizing about. Um, for a long time, we've been theorizing about like who's going to be there, what's going to happen. And it has been said that there are Mandalorians on this planet. So I'm excited to see which Mandalorians, because I did speak in the Aftermath episode, if you don't know what that is, that's where me and the Basden brothers discuss everything to do with the episodes of Season 2 of The Mandalorian. You can check that out at the end of the video and tomorrow as well, when we will be doing another podcast. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit meh. Um, last night was a very long night because of the PS5 release and stuff, and you guys were so amazing with just receiving everything, and thank you guys so much for the support. But anyway, back to this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna find out who Sasha Banks' character is, and you know, as we did see in the Aftermath episode, the boys did have a big theory saying that this is possibly a woman who's part of a cult who worships uh, Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine, and are possibly looking for Darth Vader's lightsaber. Um, and this is all theorized from a book called Aftermath, the first Aftermath book that came out, I think, in 2015. So you guys can check that out. And it is also the same book that Cobb Vanth came from, which we saw in the first episode of this season. So it is possible that they may be pulling characters from this particular book for the rest of the season. So I'm very interested to see if that's true or not. But anyway, we're gonna jump right into this episode because I'm very excited and and just I want to find out who she is. So before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. He was attacked. Oh, look at the bubba! He's sleeping. Oh. oh my god. Din, wake up. Oh, all oh, this music. What the hell? Oh no, she's gonna. I feel like she's gonna let go because of the, the babies. I knew it! It was too good to be true, god damn it. Oh my god. The air is- Dude, is our theory right? Is Mitch and Alex's theory right? Oh, the heiress? Dude! Oh, there he is. Oh. 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 That's wholesome. Oh. talking about her for ages and you know like even in the like car like not cartoon sorry star wars the clone wars they made her look like this particular actress because that's her voice um actress and just like oh thank god they did because she looks amazing and oh but this is also a thing like din's character like he must feel so many weird things because that's the thing the death watch walk away from you know the like not the traditional but the actual like following of mandalorian culture like the, the mandalores don't always wear their helmets but death watch do so and Din doesn't know that just because of the fact that he was brought up by the death watch he wasn't necessarily brought up by like the mandalore um cultural like following so 
Oh my god. Like, I, like, this is amazing. And this is what I was hoping for, more character development with him and just more problems. Not problems, but more, like, character um, issues that he can handle and, like, maybe, like, go through. Like, oh, thank god. Oh, let's continue. I'm gonna kill your pet. <gasps> so a pet that's his son. He didn't kill your brother. I did. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> now it makes sense. Wait, okay, so now it makes sense because if it's Bo who's in connection with Din, then Bo can lead Din to Ahsoka, which, yeah, which means technically Ahsoka can take the child or something like that. But, mm -mm, this is cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like art. Oh, look at them! Hello, stormtroopers. Nice. Oh, she's amazing. Nice. Oh my god, that's sick. Oh, dude, that's so amazing. The intruders are heading your way. Let's hold them off long enough until we can make the jump to hyperspace and rendezvous with the fleet. Got it. Dude, what fleet are they meeting up with? Oh, um, Gideon, maybe. We're not jettisoning anything. We're taking the entire ship. Oh. If you want my help finding the Jedi, you will help me take this ship. You're changing the terms of the deal. She's kind of good at that. Girl! Damn. That hurt. Oh, Din. If they've taken that much of the ship, I'm afraid that's no longer an option. You know what to do. Self-destruct? What? What's he doing? Oh, suicide. Yep. Din! <laughs> Man, no, the dark saber. Jesse, you have it. If you're asking, you already know. But you will take me to him. You might let me live, but he won't. What? We have to go. He said that hold, 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 hold the phone, dude. That's so twisted, but it's like. It's it's fitting because it's the Empire and also because of the fact that, you know, the Empire is supposedly laying low. Um, and this is something we spoke about on the Aftermath. I'm going to go through all this because, god damn, that was a lot to take in. But, um, yeah, like, with the Empire, like, me, Mitch, and Alex were saying, like, you know, just for the whole Empire to be, like, dead silent for, like, 30-so years and then suddenly come up again in the new trilogy... And, um, like, the way that there's so much progression, especially in terms of, like, Rise of Skywalker, even though there's a lot of faults in that film, there still needs to be kind of, like, that foundation for that story to actually work, and there wasn't. So, um, this makes sense, and this is why, like, they're so secretive that even if one thing goes wrong, they have to eliminate, like, what's wrong. So, this is so fitting, but so scary. Take the foundling to the city of Cal. Forest planet of Corvus. There you will find Ahsoka Tano. Tell her you were sent by Bo Katan. This is the way. This is the way. Oh, Din was a little bit emotional in that. But Ahsoka's coming, guys! Oh my god. Oh my god, Din. Damn, boy. I swear, I have no shame when I simp for him. God damn. Boy, god! Jesus, Din, why? <laughs> oh, oh, that was Brad Bryce? Oh, that was so good. Oh, her episodes are always good. She did a really good episode last time. And just, oh, oh, but dude, this episode. We have so much to talk about. Those sailors who were so, who tricked Din 
was so disgusting. But then Din jumped in so quickly, like not even a moment hesitation. Like that just shows like how fond he's become of the child. So beautiful and just like, again, like we've spoken about this before, like he really cares for the kid and that just, it's so, so sweet to see that developing and growing. It's, it's great. But then Bo coming in like a boss and just like, I recognized that helmet straight away because I was like, oh god damn, that's, that's Bo's helmet. That's the helmet. But yeah, it's obvious now, Eris, she's looking for the Darksaber so that she can take her place on the throne. And um, yeah, and just also connected to that, the problems and also even the ideals that Din has held on for so long has now... Um, become kind of like convoluted a little bit and like blurred because now he realizes that he never was actually part of like proper Mandalorian culture. He was part of the Death Watch culture. And um, yeah, because that makes sense. A lot of the Death Watch never used to take their helmets off apart from Star Wars Clone Wars. There was a leader who used to do it. But then other than that, I can't remember anybody else who took their helmet off. So I might be wrong. Someone can correct me on that. Yeah, it's just like for Din... I don't know what he's going to think as well, just continuing on from this. Like, even if he goes back to the armorer, like, I wonder what he'll say to her. That's going to be really interesting. But um, also, just, like, even, like, that small clash between Bo and Din, it was just, like, dude, like, that was harsh. And the way that she was like, this is the way. I was like, girl, don't do that to my man. Again, an amazing episode, and it means that we're probably going to see Bo again, um, because she's probably going to because she's probably going to fight Gideon. Um, but again, this kind of goes back to the theory that we were talking about with the little like sim sigil that the cast got, not the cast, but the lighting um, unit got. It still was crossed with the dark saber and. Darth Vader's lightsaber. So I'm wondering if there is actually still going to be a clash. Like maybe, I don't think so, but maybe Gideon got it. Or maybe there's somebody else who's found the the um, the um particular lightsaber. We'll see that. But oh my god, there's so much. And then, okay, the final thing, Ahsoka. We're going to find Ahsoka. So this is the, four, the third episode. So... Everyone was saying that Dave Filoni is doing the fifth episode, so I'm guessing it may not be next episode, it may be the episode after that that we see Ahsoka, because I feel like anybody who's going to do it, it has to be Dave Filoni directing the episode. My brain is all over the place. Oh, I'm excited though. Like, this, it clears up a lot of confusion that we had, and just like, it, it's paving the way towards another oh, amazing few episodes that we're going to get. I'm so excited! So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Mandalorian Chapter 11. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. I'm so excited. And just like the interaction with Ahsoka. Oh, dude, this is huge. This is all I ever dreamed of. I'm really, really excited now. Oh, my God. Again, please remember to tune in tomorrow for our Aftermath podcast episode. That's going to be obviously with the Basden brothers. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't yet um, and want to see more of those podcasts because it really means a lot for the support. And again, tune in tomorrow for that. And I'm so excited to break this down with the guys. Oh my god! So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Mango out. Woo!